weeks, it has zoomed straight up, and that's when the interest rates began to rate and start going up again. Uh, I think that they've got better tools than they use. The uh, New York Times today had a headline, Boker says Fed will tighten money supply. The New York Daily News had a headline, Boker says Fed will loosen money supply. <laughs> subcontractors under those 480. It was literally uh, an audit nightmare for uh, maintained, but is being cut back. And then they had contracts to special interest groups. The Secretary of Labor had $440 million worth of discretionary funds uh, where he could fund uh, any project, pilot project or otherwise. The types of uh, uh, operations that they have, the public service jobs, which we talked about, vocational.
If I could just uh, <laughs> South Floridian running the Department of Rubens on the County Commissioner of Day County, I just want to thank uh, both of you and the Vice President from the bottom of our heart. I'll tell you that the people of South Florida are taking tremendous heart from the statement that you issued in, in setting up the cabinet level task force to deal with refugees and crime in South Florida, headed, headed by the Vice President. And we intend to cooperate fully with that. And we just feel after two years of crying out that this is a federal responsibility that this statement and the establishment of this uh, panel has been the kind of response that we've been looking for. We're very really grateful to you for that. I'm sure it will be a statement of the President has asked me to go down there next week to give a report, the first report to the people in South Florida. So we'll I'll see if that's something you say about what we're going to do. Mr. President, are, uh, are you willing to compromise with Congress on your new budget, sir? Well, I have sent a budget up that I believe in very much. Uh, on the other hand, uh, there there's been a suggestion now that even further cuts could be made, and I feel the Congress should have the running room to uh, be able to talk about those and see what they're, what they're talking about. In defense spending, sir? No, I feel very strongly about defense spending. Were you disturbed by the reports they brought you today about the reaction up on the Hill? No, because I know they're going home in a few days, and when they get home, they're going to find out how much the people want what we have proposed. How about uh, changing the tax cut, sir? How about eliminating part of the tax cut? No, I think that would be very counterproductive. Thank you. The tax cuts are absolutely essential to restoring the economy and putting our people back to work. Lights. I think the line is still drawn in the dirt. An <laughs> 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 Sir, when Travis drew that line in the dirt in the Alamo, the Mexicans were coming across the wall. <laughs> I didn't wait that long. <laughs> well, let me, if I can. I know that you've been briefed very thoroughly on the, the idea of the federation program, and I'm most grateful for your newspaper that came out with the recent headline and a story on it. Incidentally, I've just come back from speaking to the state legislatures in Indiana and Iowa, and uh, I couldn't tell where the Democrats were or the Republicans were. They were all clapping very hard for the whole idea. and. Uh, it was very gratifying to see how we've met in this room with governors, we've met with mayors, we've met with some of your own officials before, and now I'm very pleased to be meeting with you because I'm sure, as you've been told, uh, what we have offered is a conceptual framework that must be fleshed out, and we're counting on the help of all of you uh, to do that fleshing out because we're determined there will be no winners and no losers, and we're determined that there will be a mandatory pass through and. Uh, and I think we're simply reinstituting the Tenth Amendment to the Constitution and uh, restoring authorities and autonomies to the states and local levels of government that were never intended to be passed on to the federal <coughs> government. And the federal government has proven the wisdom of the Constitution by proving it can't work them properly. And uh, we think that all of you can. So uh, I'm, I know that you've been, as I say, briefed and you've heard all about this program, so maybe now we should start hearing from you. Mr. President, first we want to thank you very much for the opportunity to meet with you today and discuss with you and your staff people, your very able staff people, I might add, some of our concerns about the new federalism. We are strongly supportive of the concept, and we have reiterated that time and time again in our NECO platform. And we'd like to say that uh, we intend to be as helpful as we can at restoring the Tenth Amendment to the Constitution, as you put it, in making sure that federalism does work and works properly. One of the main concerns that we have about the program, Mr. President, is the